Good evening, family. This is Twins Life, and we are back again this evening with another video. Tonight, we are having baked chicken. So, we have already washed the chicken, chopped up our vegetables, and now we're going to get to the seasoning part. I have some paprika. Okay. Then we have some garlic powder. I'm just seasoning my food. I'm not worried about measurements right now. I just want it to be seasoned. So we have some onion powder. That was a little bit too much. Um, so we're going to use some sea salt. Also black pepper. I have some cumin. Ooh, if it'll come on out. Okay, and some chicken bouillon. So we're going to season both sides with the seasonings. Get it rubbed in. And then drop that bad boy in the oven. So flipping all of these over. Seasoning the other side with the same seasonings. So there we go. Paprika again. That was garlic powder. Paprika. This is onion powder. A little sea salt. Black pepper. We have some cumin. I think I'm just about out of cumin. I'm out. Okay. And then some chicken bouillon for the back side. Well, the belly side. And we're just going to massage this all into the chicken. Get it seasoned. Change the colors on it. Because then that's how you know that it has been seasoned properly. Yes, you can use gloves if you don't want the chicken, um, raw chicken on your skin. That's fine. But I'm going to wash my hands. So we're going to marinate all of these. Rub it in. Okay. I like to massage my chicken all up under the skin and everything. And this is that chicken love. All right, so they have been seasoned. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then we're going to add our vegetables on top of the chicken. I want it flavorful. So I have some yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, onions, and some oregano, fresh herbs. So before we put it in the oven, I want to go ahead and put some more bouillon seasoning on here because I'm just like, I don't know. I just want a little bit more flavor. And plus, I want my vegetables to be seasoned as well. Again, this is no measurement cooking. Just put my favorite meal together that I like. More black pepper. Okay, and then we're going to throw the flour up on here because we want a little chicken gravy, okay? And when you're throwing your meat in the oven, this is how you get some easy gravy without having to stare on the stove. So, don't say I ain't never taught y'all nothing. Then we're going to cover 
with some water. And for anybody who thinks it's going to be like cloudy or cakey, it's not. It's actually going to be thick and delicious. Mixed in with that chicken fat, it's going to be the best chicken gravy ever. So, now to wrap the toilet. We're going to put it into the oven for about an hour and 45 minutes on 375. And oh yeah, poke a little hole. Let some heat escape. So, putting the chicken into the oven again for an hour, 45 minutes. And I also took me a four or five cloves of garlic peeled them and I have them in this bowl. I'm just going to set them on the baking rack because I'm going to roast those for my mashed potatoes. Alright, so while the meat is back in the oven, we're going to go ahead and mash up some potatoes. I went ahead and boiled these while the meat was cooking. They are definitely tender. Okay, so we're just going to drain these. And then we're going to also add some half, half and half. I don't know if you guys can see it. We've got some half and half. And a stick of butter. I'm not going to use all of this butter here for the potatoes. Because I'm going to split some for the broccoli as well that I have rinsed and drained. Just gonna cut these up into tablespoon pieces. Let's go ahead and get these potatoes mashed. Okay. I'm gonna mash the potatoes. And yes, I love my system half and half. Most people use heavy whipping cream, but you can use whatever milk product you have. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the Pats of butter in there. It is salted already. So then I want to put in my roasted garlic. Put the roasted garlic up in here. Get that stirred around. Also, we're going to add some black pepper. And go ahead and get those mashed and get the rest of that garlic off of there. And mash. Now I'm going to mash them so far. The butter is in here. I'm going to mash them so far. And then I'm just going to let the butter just melt and then I'll come back and I'll stir them. And yeah, these potatoes are looking a little thick. And add just a little bit more half and half. And again, like I said, you can use whatever milk product that you have. Ah, getting a little messy over here. Could use a little bit more salt. When you add your salt, 
So I've just gotten my spatula and I'm going around the edges, folding everything together, getting the sides of the pot. You don't want no dried up mashed potatoes. Smooth that top down. Get this lid put back on. Potatoes are done. Clean my stove, okay? And now I have butter in a pan. And I'm just gonna put my rinsed broccoli in here. And we're just gonna steam the broccoli to about five to seven minutes. We're gonna season the broccoli with some pink Himalayan salt. Oh, drop stuff over here. And I'm gonna use my Ajika Georgian seasoning because I want a little spice up on here. And a little bit of water. Get that covered. And, and so we should be back with a nice plate. So y'all, we are back and dinner is ready. Dinner is done. This is our baked chicken. It's still bubbling because the eye that I had on still hot. So it's still kind of bubbling there, but our chicken looks amazing. Some of the grease came off, you know, the fat from the chicken into the gravy. It's going to be so delicious. Add a dinner roll.